When something important is about to happen, it's very natural that you pay very close attention. Say it's game seven of the NBA Finals. The game is tied and the clock is ticking down. Say it's your daughter's first piano recital and it's finally her turn to play her piece. You maybe know what that's like. Your eyes are glued in, your attention is undivided. You're not going to miss a single second of the action. In the very same way, the book of the Bible known as Acts begins in a way that lets us know something very important is about to take place because Jesus' followers are paying very close attention. We're told that after Jesus suffered and died on the cross, he rose from the dead and for a period of 40 days, he appeared to his disciples. He gave them many convincing proofs that he was alive, in fact, even eating with them on several occasions to make it clear that he wasn't a ghost or just a figment of their imagination. And then when those 40 days were up, here's what we're told. He was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. So the disciples were looking right at Jesus, their attention was undivided, their eyes were glued, and Jesus went up to heaven. Here's why that's important. The Bible tells us that Jesus was fully God and fully man in one person. In other words, he was fully one of us in every way. And so he was born as one of us. He lived as one of us. He suffered and died as one of us. He rose from the dead as one of us, and he ascended into heaven as one of us. In other words, when Jesus went up into heaven, he didn't leave his humanity behind. He didn't leave it behind the way a snake might shed its skin. He didn't go back to just being God again. No, he went up into heaven as one of us. We call this Jesus ascension. And this week we're going to be talking about all of the different reasons why it's important that Jesus went into heaven as God and man. In other words, as one of us. For now, you might think of it this way. Imagine that you grew up in very difficult circumstances. Some small town in the middle of nowhere, terrible schools, high rates of crime and poverty and drug use. Everyone who grew up in those circumstances felt like they were trapped, that there was no way out, that nothing was ever going to get better. But then one day, someone from that town, someone you knew, someone you grew up with, got out. They got a great education, got a great job, made all kinds of money, eventually even went into politics and got elected President of the United States. What would that mean for everyone else living in that town? It would mean everything, right? It would mean that the person at the very top of power was one of you. Someone who understood you, someone who cared about you, someone who would act in your best interest. It would give you hope that just as that person had made it out and changed their circumstances, maybe someday so could you. Friends, as we talk about Jesus' ascension this week, we're going to see the very same thing, that Jesus' ascension means all of that. That even better than if one of us were sitting in the White House, Jesus' ascension means that one of us is sitting in heaven. Do you struggle to find time to connect with God? Well, click here to subscribe to our daily email where we'll make sure that you hear about God's promises, his love, and his amazing word.